Poison Pages from the Library of Doom Written by Michael Dahl Illustrated by Martin Blanco Copyright 2008 Stone Arch Books The Library of Doom is the world's largest collection of strange and dangerous books. The librarian's duty is to keep the books from falling into the hands of those who would use them for evil purposes. Chapter 1 The Empty Seat The city is gray and cold. Rain falls from an angry sky. A young girl holds an umbrella and waits for the bus to take her home. The bus arrives full of sad, sleepy passengers. The girl finds a place to sit, but there is a small, square shadow on the seat. Someone forgot their book the girl says to herself. She picks up the shadowy book and looks at the cover. Weird letters spell out the lost readers. When she turns a page, the girl sees a picture of a gray girl waiting for a bus. The gray girl climbs onto a gray bus and finds a seat. On the next page, is another picture. It shows the gray girl's seat, but this time, the girl is gone. Suddenly, on the real bus, the real girl is gone too. Only the shadowy book is left behind. Chapter 2 The Endless Floor The girl is no longer on the bus. She is outside. She is standing on a wide, flat floor. The floor is endless. The endless floor is covered with black shapes. She bends down and sees that the shapes are painted on the floor. Letters, says the girl. I am inside the book, she says to herself. In the distance, the girl sees another shape. It is a man walking toward her. The girl is frightened. She turns to walk away. Stop, shouts the man. Take one more step and it will be your last. Chapter 3 The Lost Readers Who are you? asks the girl. I am the librarian, says the man. You have been taken by the book, along with the others. Others? says the girl. The girl looks, and now she can see other shapes. Men, women, and children crowd around the edges of the endless floor. Who are they? asks the girl. The lost readers, says the librarian. We are all inside the pages of the book. The girl takes a step forward. I told you not to move, said the librarian. Do you want to end up like that? He points to a figure lying near them. Chapter 4 A poison path. The girl looks down. She was about to step on one of the letters. The letters are made of poison ink, says the librarian. If you touch the poison, you will become part of the book forever. I've never heard of a poison book, says the girl. 
It is not an ordinary book, he says. It comes from the Library of Doom. Follow me, he says. Put your feet where I put mine. Carefully, they walk across the endless floor. Let go, the girl shouts. One of the figures has grabbed her foot. Chapter 5 Trapped on the Page Why? gasps the figure. Why? The librarian bends down and frees the girl's foot from the figure's grasp. He was poisoned by a question mark and cannot stop asking questions, says the librarian. The girl looks into the distance. She can see a faraway shape. It looks like a giant wave. The page is turning, says the librarian. The girl and the man race across the vast floor. Who are they? asks the girl. She sees some people tightly wrapped with strips of paper. They cannot move their arms or legs. She hears them moan. Those are the library bound, says the librarian. We cannot stop to help them. The girl looks behind her. The giant wave is growing closer. Chapter 6 Over the Edge The librarian suddenly stops. They are standing at the edge of the page. Below them is a great darkness. You must jump, says the librarian. But there's nothing there, the girl says. Trust me, says the librarian. The giant page is getting closer and closer. All right, says the girl. She closes her eyes. She takes a deep breath and jumps. The wind rushes past her body. Bump. The girl opens her eyes. She is back on the bus. She looks down at the book and sees a picture of the librarian. Why didn't he jump, the girl wonders. At the bottom of the page, she sees the words, There are more lost readers who need my help. The End